Margarita Simonovna Simonian is a Russian journalist of Armenian descent. She is the current editor-in-chief of the Russian state-controlled media organizations RT and Rossiya Segodnia. In 2022, she was sanctioned by the European Union. The official reason given by the EU was that Margarita Simonian is a central figure of the Russian government propaganda. Through her function, she promoted a positive attitude to the annexation of Crimea and the actions of separatists in Donbass. But the EU sanctions were the least of her problems, because, you see, she was later banned from entering Armenia. Armenia is a sovereign state and has the right to expect respect for itself. Those were the words Armenian Prime Minister Pashinyan said in defense of the decision to ban several Russian propagandists from the country, including Margarita Simonian. Armenia has also the right to use its sovereign mechanisms in case of intentions against its interests. If these people had committed even 1% of the actions against their countries that they committed against Armenia, they would not have been able to get into their own home. Simonian was quick to respond on her telegram channel. Pashinyan is a bastard and a traitor to the Armenian people. He sold and betrayed all the Armenian interests that he could betray and sell, he hates Russia and deceives Putin. He is a CIA mole without honor and conscience. But let's step back for a minute. What were the actions that the Prime Minister is accusing Simonian of committing against Armenia in the first place? Let's take a peek at some of Simonian's previous comments. In July of 2020, after an attack by Azerbaijan on Armenia, the Russian-led CSDO gave a lackluster response which failed to blame Azerbaijan for the incident. This was not well received in Armenia, and Simonian was quick to defend the CSDO by writing on her telegram. Look at yourself from the outside, see what you are doing, how you behave, what kind of Armenians are you? in response to the many years of kindness and protection you received from Russia, you refused to recognize Crimea. Purely out of political revenge, you imprisoned Robert Kocharyan, a permanent ally of Russia. Imprisoned him specially, defiantly, spitting directly in the face of your Russian friends. You have flooded your country with anti-Russian NGOs that teach the youth how to overthrow power in Russia. You have become a springboard for anti-Russian forces in the Caucasus. You kicked out Russian-Armenian businessmen. You do not want anything to do with anything connected with Russia. Around the clock, your media and social networks spit on Russia, Putin, and everyone who supports Putin especially Russian Armenians, for example, me. You have divided the unfortunate, already disappearing Armenian people into enemies, the Russian Armenians and the real ones who support your momentary power. And now, when a war is breaking out on the border, when the very existence of your regime is in jeopardy, when Armenians worldwide are already seeing the living ghosts of the Janissaries with crooked knives that used to slice into your ancestors, you remember that Russia must save you again. After all the evil and choking contempt that you have shown towards Russia in recent years, your troops and you yourself consider yourself entitled enough to wait for help from Russia? In fact, after all that you have done, Russia has every moral right to spit on you and grind you into the ground. But that's not what will happen, I'm sure. Russia will come to your aid this time as well, because that's how Russia is. Generous and noble, my beloved homeland. 
To add fuel to the fire, the CSTO's official Twitter account tweeted a link to Simonian's remarks, initially giving her credibility, but the tweet was quickly removed and an apology was issued, citing a technical error. Later that year, Azerbaijan started a full-scale invasion on Artsakh, and once again Simonian had this to say. Any Armenian who dares to criticize Russia right now should go and cut out his dirty tongue. They brought to power the national traitor who created the prerequisite for this war. Every Armenian must understand one thing. If it were not for Russia, all of Karabakh could be completely lost next week. Okay, so yeah, she's pretty horrible. But... Does she deserve to be banned from the country? What about free speech? Well, we have to keep in mind that Simonian is not an Armenian citizen. She is not being persecuted by the Armenian government. She is not even an ordinary Russian citizen. She is the editor-in-chief of two Russian state-controlled media organizations organizations which reflect the foreign policy of that state. And, with that in mind, I think treating her on an official capacity and denying her entry to the country is not such an insane response. <laughs>